No, Lily, you have to look at the camera. <laughs> Baby, aw. So cute. Look, look, look. <laughs> now she's running away. She just takes the food and she runs away. Do you know people like that in your life? My name is Daisy and I am the CEO and founder of Banish. Today I wanted to talk about why I don't vlog anymore and why I don't want to be a social media influencer, quite frankly. I understand and you can see that my channel, I started it back in 2010. I have 200 and I think 20,000 subscribers and each video has less than a thousand views. And that's a very huge discrepancy and no, I did not buy followers or whatnot or else my account would be banned from the YouTube universe. I truly believe it was because I went through this period where my channel was growing and I was getting traction and all of that. And I could have taken my life two ways. I could have taken it this way or I could have taken it that way. And I decided to take it this way. And it was because if I wanted to go this way, I would have had to definitely become a different person than I am today. I think I probably would have had to get some kind of, you know, cosmetic or certain cosmetic procedures. I would have to be friends with certain people and live a certain kind of lifestyle. And I decided not to do that because I felt like it wasn't authentically me. I felt like I wasn't being true to myself and it didn't rift well with me. And I'm a very, very competitive person. I'm super competitive. It was almost like accepting, not failure, but accepting, a little bit accepting failure that knowing that I'm not gonna be able to, or nor do I want to make this a huge business and my huge career, my YouTube channel and go the other way which is now you can see we have you know other people posting content for us, other really amazing great people who can offer a fresh perspective on skincare and life advice and stuff, but also just me filming stuff because I wanna film it because it feels and resonates truly authentic to who I am and because it's something I wanna talk about and it's something very vulnerable and critical and that I wanna share with people. I felt like the videos that get a lot of views are videos on how to get a perfect hourglass shape how to get amazingly flawless skin, how to you know lose a bajillion pounds without working out, doing all this stuff. I mean, why do people want to change who they are? People want to change who they are and they watch these how-to videos because they think that once they get this thing in their life, then they will feel happiness, they will feel self-love, they will find that feeling that they've been searching for. But the reality is, is no matter what you have, no matter what your house looks like, no matter anything, once you get there, you're gonna be like, what, what the crap? I still feel just as sad and as depressed and all that. I didn't want to portray a certain kind of life that didn't resonate and feel authentic to me, even though I knew it might make me more famous or it might make me get more views or it might make me seem cooler than I am. It just wasn't something that I liked. And so I decided to, you know, private my Instagram. I've noticed the photos where I get the most engagement, the most comments were the photos when I was heavily done up and when I was beautiful and when I was wearing low cut shirts. I looked like I could come out of magazine. I looked like a trophy wife. I didn't like how I would be portrayed that way and it didn't resonate with me. So I decided to go cold turkey and stop all that. Do stuff that makes me feel true to who I am and do stuff that makes me feel good, makes me feel good inside. Even with Banish, I have found that there's people who have tried to sell me certain things, say, oh, you should sell this product or this product or you should do this and that. It'll make this much more money, you know, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, like making more money is great, but it's not authentic. It's not true to my core vision of where I want the company to go. And my true core vision of where I want the company to go is really to create a really amazing community of people who are supportive of one another and who can feel the freedom to be authentic and true to who they are. If you look on Banish's social media, you can tell we never put the products in front of an amazing house or we never have a perfectly gorgeous supermodel like model our products and do all that kind of stuff because I, I as the CEO of the company, I don't want to sell you this image that if you buy our product, 
everything in your life is gonna change, that you're gonna have a beautiful house, you're gonna have a beautiful face, you're gonna grow a foot and lose 100 pounds. Like, I don't want to sell you this image that if you do this, then you will be that. I want you to understand that we are all going through our own struggle. It's okay to embrace, and it's okay to be imperfect. It's okay to have acne scars. It's okay to have acne. It's okay to feel ugly. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel depressed. It's okay to feel all those emotions. That's why I love what we post on Banish. We post people with you know acne all the time, and those, I mean, they actually get really great engagement, but regardless, that seems very, very true and authentic to me and the company's mission and all that. And that's what I want to focus on. And that's why I decided personally, I don't want to post pictures of my perfect life, even though it's completely not perfect. And there's certain things in my life that I want to keep private. And there's certain things in my life that I want to share. And if I want to share, I'm having a bad day. I want to share it and not feel pressured that people are going to judge me because you know, I'm not posting amazingly well edited, crafted pictures because life is not amazing all the time. Life is sad, life is a struggle. There's seven billion people in this world and we're all trying to figure it out. And nobody has the answer for what happiness and positive emotions all the time are. I mean, I wish I could feel happiness and positive emotions all the time, but in life you're gonna go through struggle and you're gonna go through trial and tribulation and that is part of life. But I think what is most important is understanding that when you're in those negative times, when you're in those down in the dump times, that it will get better. It will get better. It might not get better tomorrow or the day after, but it eventually will get better and that nothing is ever permanent. Like nothing lasts forever. Your feelings and your feelings of happiness and sadness and all that is not going to last forever. There's going to be ups and downs in your happiness, just like there's in your sadness, right? So you could feel happy today, but tomorrow you're gonna be sad, and you could be sad today, and you could be happy tomorrow. Like it all comes, life comes in waves and cycles. And understanding that is, I think, for me, it has made me so much happier, more happy, I guess, long-term happy, because I have realized that everything is temporary. I have also felt like a huge, cause of sadness and a huge cause of anxiety that millennials have is this obsession with vanity, this obsession with comparison, this obsession with needing to portray this perfectly well-crafted life, this obsession with comparing ourselves to other people. If you think about it, you know, the rates of suicide, depression, people on medication have definitely increased. Even though our lives have gotten much easier, even though technology has gotten better, we are still so unhappy. And if you think about what life was like for our grandparents or life was like in the 1800s, they were on a cover wagon, they would see maybe one or two people a week and you know, what would, what would people do all day? They'd wake up and do chores and do chores and do chores, cook and clean and cook and clean and hunt and wash the clothes by hand and that's what people did. But were they happier? Maybe they were. Maybe they were happier because they weren't comparing themselves to other people telling them that they should be happy all the time and you know comparing their lives to people who seemingly have it all but you might not know on the inside that of what they're feeling or doing and all that. And I find that really truly what I want for my life is not necessarily happiness per se. That has never really been a huge goal of mine. But I think what I want for my life is meaning. I want for my life is meaning and I think I really want a life that is truly authentic to me. So I have this like authenticity meter in my in my heart, in my soul and I have people who have told me that, hey Daisy, you know, like your channel is like one of the most authentic, your videos are some of the most authentic I've seen on YouTube and they love that and I want to be who I am. And so if I'm not feeling happy, if I'm feeling sad or blue or whatever, it probably means that my authenticity meter is like going the other way, that I'm not living a life that is authentic to me. I need to adjust and course correct to creating that life that does feel good inside and does resonate with me. What resonates with me is creating meaning, is helping you guys, is creating a legacy and doing the best job I can in running Banish and growing it and 
achieving my dream of helping people in other countries and doing all that like that's what drives me and that's what gives me meaning posting this perfectly crafted image of my life does not give me meaning posting myself with flawless skin does not give me meaning posting myself with the perfect body does not give me meaning posting myself with the beautiful house the beautiful you know husband the beautiful car the beautiful kids whatever it does not give me meaning because I have found that when you get that thing that you've always wanted, that picture on the wall, once you get there, you're still having the same feelings. You're still having the same feelings. And so what I wanna tell to everybody who's feeling blue, who's feeling sad, who's not feeling happy, is listen inside yourself. Figure out your authenticity meter. Because usually when you're feeling sad and when you're feeling blue, something is not right here something is not right you're not doing something that is authentic to you you are not being who you are intended to be so when i was you know being that beautifully hot girl you know going to parties i guess looking you know beautiful and pictures and stuff that wasn't resonating with me i didn't feel happy even though i looked beautiful and happy right and so listen to that authenticity meter and see kind of what you're feeling and try to course correct or adjust. Maybe you're hanging out with the wrong group of people. Maybe you're doing something that you don't truly love. Maybe someone is trying to change you into someone you're not. Try to listen to that authenticity meter and course correct, figure out what that should be. And then the second thing is, you know, focus on giving back, focus on helping other people, focus on creating meaning and purpose in your life. Meaning and purpose does not come from having money. Meaning and purpose does not come from being perfect all the time. Meaning and purpose is giving back. And I have found when I am helping other people, I'm giving back, I am teaching, I am speaking, I am connecting with you guys on my Instagram Live or on YouTube or whatever, that is when I feel the most meaning and when I feel happiest. And if I focus on that, I don't care what Joe Schmo or you know, perfect girl on Instagram is doing. Like I, I could care less what they're doing because that has nothing to do with my life and my mission and my internal meeting meter. I have found the times when I get most sad is when I am scrolling through social media because I, I feel weird that that my life isn't like all these other people's. And so instead of actually looking through other people's profiles on social media, I have just started to do more stories about myself and do more lives about myself and talk more and connect more with you guys. And instead of just browsing and looking at other people's lives, like I, I, I have found so much more meaning in connecting with you guys. So really think about it. Think about what your meaning is, and if you don't know what it is, it's okay. It doesn't happen overnight, but do what drives your soul and what makes you feel like you can be who you are, because I think that is so important to be who you are, to be authentically yourself, and to have meaning. Those, I guess, are the secrets to happiness, but if you're not feeling happy, that's totally okay as well. If you're not feeling happy, it's totally fine embrace it take that as a signal from the universe that you're going off the wrong course or you're kind of straying off the right the, the course you're supposed to be going in your life and that it's time to kind of course correct that's your internal sign that you need to course correct when you're not feeling happy and there is absolutely nothing wrong with feeling unhappy and i think a lot of times we get stuck in comparisons a lot of times we get stuck into thinking that these things in our life will make us happy. Having a huge business will make us happy. Being beautiful will make us happy. Having designer items, luxury things, a perfect looking husband will make us happy, but it doesn't. And that's okay. That's okay. What makes you happy might not make somebody else happy. Always remember that what, what you feel now isn't gonna be what you feel tomorrow. Might not necessarily be what you feel in a few weeks, but the whole point of life is to be able to ride the waves of life everything comes in a cycle you know the sun goes up the sun goes down moon comes out moon goes down ocean high tide low tide whatever like that's how life is it is nothing is ever completely constant so just know that that if you're feeling blue it'll get back up and if you're feeling happy be ready to ride the wave down thank you all so much for watching i know this was kind of jumbled and mismatched but i hope you guys like this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.